Epic just released some of the biggest AI updates to their platform. Let's talk about it. Epic's new AI scribe is called Art for Clinicians. It actually listens to the patient and doctor and then drafts the chart automatically. We already do this quite a bit, but this is Epic's own system. And then there's the AI patients interact with. It's called Emmy. It helps explain lab results to patients so doctors don't have to do it. It helps with scheduling patients. On top of that, this AI, if a patient sends you a message, you can actually reply back to them without ever typing a word. AI is the one that's going to reply. You just have to click send. Because we know this project is worth billions on the financial side, Penny is the AI that's actually going to help code, bill, and even generate denial appeal letters to insurance claims. And perhaps the most ambitious part of all of these updates is Cosmos AI. It's trained in over 16 billion patient encounters, real people. It's being built to predict health risks and stimulate patient trajectories. Now the comments are all divided among doctors and nurses. Some doctors think this is one of the best things that has ever happened. Less paperwork, less admin, and more time with patients. But we all know on the flip side, because we're going to get so much more time, it means doctors are going to be forced to see more and more patients. At the end of the day, no matter which side you're on, I think the best clinicians will be the ones who not only implement AI the fastest, but those who can make it faster and better. So being a clinician no longer means just treating patients. It means how can you make these systems better so they impact millions and billions of people. Now, whether you and I agree with this technology or not, it's here to stay. The best thing is to be able to not only implement this into your life, but also understand it better so you can identify the areas that it can use improvement. Even though I love technology and artificial intelligence, I think this is actually going to hurt doctors and patients because when you put your AI in charge of billing, it's going to make sure that the house always wins.